In 2018, Global Fishing Watch teamed up with a group of academics from South Korea and Japan to use satellite data in creative new ways, and they figured out that this huge armada of Chinese boats was fishing in North Korean waters. This discovery partly explains why the squid stock in these waters has dropped more than 70% in recent years. This rusty flotilla of industrial squidders, which makes up roughly a third of China's distant water fleet, is also likely displacing the smaller, the smaller wooden North, North Korean boats. The presence of these industrial Chinese boats is really a big deal because in 2017, the UN Security Council unanimously signed sanctions forbidding foreign fishing in North Korean waters. This means China, which signed these sanctions, is flagrantly violating them. Meanwhile, the amount of squid that these industrial legal boats are pulling out of the water is colossal, about 220,000 tons a year. that it's a shame that the poachers keep putting these donuts and not just for the people but for any animals including whales, turtles, and whales. The life inside this area needs to be protected. The vaquita, this whale, and many other animals struggle every day for survival. They have well, illegal nets to stay in the water. Sea shepherds have to continue working with Mexican authorities to keep this area free from illegal fish to make sure that the vaquita While the amount of squid that these industrial legal boats are pulling out of the water is colossal, about 220,000 tons a year. 